I think the kind of calling brands out is definitely the sort of, you know, no one fears that at all these days. And brands are built over years, managed over quarters and destroyed in hours. And so, you know, it sort of feels that way sometimes. And actually a sort of poor content strategy and some misplaced sort of content. I actually think, you know, it was a piece of advertising, but nonetheless, it was a sort of pseudo piece of content. The PepsiCo thing that they managed to do with, um, you know, Kendall Jenner or whatever her name is, you know, where it was just one of those awful kind of things where you just feel that, you know, who in God's name? I mean, they'd, they'd taken their creative in-house apparently. And I think sometimes for me, having someone else to just be a bit of an arbiter over your content feels important. You know, having some way of, I and mean, it could be consumer groups, you could do all sorts of different things, but having no sense of, you know, your own vulnerabilities or kind of what you should be doing. You almost be like a publishing uh, editor, you know, well, yeah, who's, who's the who craft the... person. You know, we have, you see, media owners have, you know, overarching editors, editor-in-chief. Yeah. And so from a company point of view, you really have to have an editor-in-chief almost to really look at your overall publishing approach and strategy and making sure that there is, you know, an authenticity around whatever is being built. Uh, I would add to that that you can't please everyone, right? And, and nor should we be trying to. And a brand should, of course, be taking risks. But if there is the slightest inkling that something could go wrong or something is offensive, you can't even put it out there. One person on that little filter or that little internal team, uh, whatever it may be, you can't put it out there if, if you know it has the potential because people are looking, for, there's folks out there that are looking to amplify that and put you uh, into harm's way in terms of, of perception. And so I, I, it blows my mind when I see people put, uh, when I see some of the, the advertising, the creatives that come out, and I think they think they're taking a risk and they're pushing it way too far. And it's not worth the backlash, it never is. I, I still find it a sort of head scratchy kind of thing when you do see those sort of moments of crassness that are sort of, you know, hit the buffers and that charitable dinner that was had at the Dorchester Hotel with all men and kind of girls in skimpy. And you think, today, really? Someone's sitting down thinking this is a jolly good idea? And, you know, I hope that for, you know, some of the next generation that, you know, there's a normality now to the sort of rebalance of certain things. but. You know, I was looking at some very historical advertising the other day, and it's astonishing kind of what people used to say. So in a sort of modern context, we've also got to be slightly aware of the context in which content and other statements run, to your point, Jason. I mean, what's it like dealing with the internal bits of your organisation? You've got partners and people who've all got opinions, and they're probably all very different. They're all very different and, and, and that's I guess the beauty of a, an organisation of the size and structure that we've currently got. You know, it's a diverse uh, team. Yeah. So and I think with diversity you get different points of views, you get the richness that that sort of brings with that. Um, you know, we're very much the type of organisation where voices are heard. Um, we, um, you know, actively encourage it. We have a, a, a number of brand ambassadors in each of the regions, etc. because you know, this is not tone from the top. This is actually how you build a culture and organisation collectively, whether you're a partnership or not. Everybody needs to feel that they're part of something and collaborating um, towards success. Now, whether that's a revenue generator or, um, you know, um, giving back to society, whatever um, drives the organisation. But I think we all have a part to play. And I think the, you know, diversity, whether it's creative, you know, now we've got agencies and, and um, um, analysts working together, um, so it's about joining those together.